y'all. It's Joe with the Cockeyed Homestead. And if your garden's anything like mine, we've been getting a bumper crop of tomatoes. I'll show you what we're going to do with them all. For today, I'm making pizza sauce because Mel wants pizza tonight. Now, I when it, the tomatoes start coming in, I tend to put my vegetables and chop them all in bulk. Here I've got some yellow and green peppers. I've got some onions diced. For this recipe I'm going to need half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I spared you the agony of peeling those potatoes and whiz-banging them with my little blender. But we got about four pounds of tomatoes here. We'll need uh, a 12 ounce can of tomato paste. Uh, about five mm. cloves of garlic, chopped, mm. and I've got some fresh oregano and basil chopped. Now, since I've got four pounds of tomatoes, like last time, I've got my trusty cannon jars ready for the extra. Because I sure don't want to have to keep making pizza sauce every time Mel decides she's got a hankering for pizza. Now, I've got a cast iron Dutch oven here, but a regular pot will do. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil in the bottom to cover the bottom of this sucker. It's going to take two tablespoons. But I'm going to put half a cup of bell pepper. got hot fast goody. Cast and, iron. Good stuff. Yeah, real good stuff. I love cast iron. Don't like seasoning it too much, but I just throw it in the wood stove. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta keep oiling it to get a good seal on it. We're gonna put about a cup of onions in here. In case you're wondering, that's a half cup measure. I've got my four large cloves of garlic going in. And some of my herbs, which it's not really time for, but you can't separate them. But it won't hurt nothing. But we'll just sweat these down and let them cook. You may ask what Mel's favorite pizza is, and I'll tell you, it's pepperoni with mushrooms. <laughs> now, I went and bought me some turkey pepperoni and got her the regular kind, because I ate some bacon yesterday and started itching all over the place. Now that the onions and peppers have cooked off, it's time to add the tomatoes, or I should say the tomato sauce. Ooh, that pan got a little hot. Let me turn the heat down. And I'll add my tomato paste and my herbs to the pot as well. Bring it up to a boil, turn the heat off. In go my herbs. And my Parmesan cheese. I almost forgot it. Which is why we leave everything out that we need. <laughs> it's on my handy dandy counter. Give it a good stir. You bring it back up to a boil and then you turn the heat off and it is perfection. <laughs> you know, you've got a wicked laugh. <laughs> I got it from my mom, so it's honest. <laughs> okay. Now looky how thick and rich that sauce is. It just clumps out. 
I'm going to go ahead and fill these jars. I've pulled out enough for the pizzas that we have. Give it about half an inch head space in these jars. Well, actually, I put too much again. It's been the bane of my existence since I got this new can of, uh, can of scoop. I always pull too much for these little jars. Okay, I've got my trusty paper towel with vinegar. I'm going around the edge. Got my lid sitting in hot water. Woo, I almost did. I would have been sorry. <laughs> and as usual, I grab two. So I'm still going to get my fingers warm. Now, as always, when I do these, get them armpit tight and <laughs> keep on going to the next one. And I've got my trusty pot on the stove. Not my cannon pot, but a regular pot. Because I'm only doing about four, about four jars to put up in stores. And then the rest will go for four pizzas. All my jars are filled. My water's come up to a boil. And she has it on one of my rags inside there now. Yes, I've got one of Mel's dishcloths in here. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of that. I'd have had spaghetti sauce water. Well, you, only because it protects the jar from from the heat from the burner. And I had one jar fall over, so. Ooh. Do, do, do. Need some help? No, I got it. Hockey dog. I got it. Now these jars are already hot between the sauce that's in them and them being heated in a hot water. I was looking at a mass of bubbles coming up from one of these jars and I was thinking that one of my jars had broken, but it didn't. Otherwise I'd be seeing sauce all over the place. And it's a crying shame when one of your jars breaks in the canner. But you know what? It happens. I've been doing this for uh, pretty close to 40 years. And I can't even count how many jars I've broken. Okay, I'm going to let my water come up back up to a boil. When it does, I'll set my timer for 15 minutes. And then we'll pull them out. And I'll bring you back. Okay, my timer has gone off. So it's time to pull the jars out of the pot here. Got a double thickness of dish towel on the counter. And tilt it to one side, let the water drain off. Put it on my towel. And I don't have any floating sauce in the water, so none of my jars broke. Hey, there you have it, folks. Home can pizza sauce in little half pint jars. Just perfect for two large pizzas. And already my jars are pinging away and sealing. You gotta love that sound. This has been Joe with Cockeyed Homestead. Y'all have a blessed day.